Hi, welcome to the movie review quiz. Joining me today, very special guest, it's Ryan George. Ryan, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me today. Uh, this is a delight. You know, from one movie buff to another, I'm very looking forward to this quiz that my lovely council has whipped up for the both of us. And uh, before we continue, on a scale of zero to 10, how much of a movie buff would you say you are? I'm, I'm extremely buff, I would say. <laughs> how buff are you, Jack? <laughs> Yeah, um, I'm a I'm a soft four. So here's how this little quiz works. Allegedly, you and I will be given a blurb from a movie review, and then we have to determine what movie this reviewer is talking about. I believe it's just 90 questions. We'll just breeze right through this. It's a quick little quiz here. Oh my god! All right. No, no, no. I think it's 10. Here's movie number one. A world phenomenon, one of the best animated movies of the century, where they show us the most satirical and darkest side of fairy tales. With charismatic and funny characters, good animation, and a simple but spectacular plot, in conclusion, a film that will go down in history. I have a guess. Ryan, do you have any guesses? I have a guess, but I'm, I'm thrown off by the fact that it says February 2022 on that review. I don't think we should let the dates throw us off. I think that's merely when the review was written. I don't think it has anything to do with when the film was released. So what I would say is that this is someone who somehow saw Shrek for the first time this year. Yeah, agreed. Yes, that was my guess yeah. as well. Like they magically, <laughs> like for somehow, and you know what? It's someone's first time every time. At Once Upon a Time, you and I had not yet seen the Shrek film, so. Yeah, I love to imagine somebody stumbling upon Shrek on like Netflix and being like, what is this? <laughs> Like, really, you haven't heard of Shrek 1, this 2, or fun. the 3rd? Uh, much Man. like Kanye wishes he could go back and watch his concerts with fresh uh, virgin eyes, I, too, wish I could go back and see Shrek for the first time again, because that first time was magical. Did you see it in theaters? I'm sure I did. I didn't see it with Kanye's virgin eyes or anything, but I saw it, like, with my own virgin eyes. That's close. That's and, close uh, enough. I think, I think I liked it. I thought it was just the edgiest darn thing when I was, you know, a, a wee tyke. Well, let's find out if we're right. Is it Shrek? Shrek. Of course it is. Yes, Look at that. Yes, of course. Starting easy. Unrelated, Ryan, but um, what's the uh, over and under? What are the odds that Shrek 5 is ever going to um, grace us with its presence? Did Shrek 4 ever come out? Are you kidding me? This is this sickens me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, oh. thanks so much. That's been the movie review quiz. I'm out. Thanks for having me, Jack. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hey, 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 nobody knows about the fourth Shrek movie. It's true. Everyone says, wait, there's a fourth? Somehow there is, and it's actually better than the third. Called okay. Shrek Forever After. Um, oh, yeah, that sounds familiar. Oh, that, that jogs your memory? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've never <laughs> seen it, but uh, good for them, I guess. It could be, yeah, yeah, it's all right. What a, it should have stopped at two, but that's fine. So far, a one for one. That was pretty easy. Let's see if this quiz gets any harder. A coming-of-age story that has never been told like this before. This movie broke barriers for teens and gave them a voice to actually talk about sex when our parents were too afraid to. This movie rightfully holds a place in our collective minds and hearts. Huh. This is a thinker. This is a lot harder than Shrek. Shrek was the warm up, I guess. You know what I think this is? I think this is someone thinking too deeply about Superbad. Oh. Well, it could be completely. Maybe it's like the perks of being a wallflower or something. I was gonna say it, so, might, it might be super bad. But what? Wait a minute. Actually, talk about sex when our parents were too. Oh, when our. Oh, I thought. Sorry, I misconstrued that as like talk about sex with our parents. <laughs> Never mind. That's a very different. It's, it was like a it was like a Dora the Explorer type thing where the movie stops and then they ask a question and then you just discuss <laughs> amongst yourselves. You say super bad, huh? What movie actually talks about? Ah, oh, fuck. Is it super bad? It's like now you've influenced me. I don't want to think it's super bad. So I'm like kind of pissed if it is. No offense. This is tough. Yeah, take your time. This no, is this is high high it. stakes for sure. Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't even talk about the stakes. Yeah, well, we'll go into that at the end. Oh, do I have to like get a tattoo or something if I lose? Oh, uh, who told you? <laughs> Shit. Could it be like this like the easy A or something? I I'm leaning towards easy oh. A. I don't think I'm right though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try easy A. And you're are you still think it's super bad? I still do. We're going with two Emma Stone movies. Oh, we're how gonna, about that? We're gonna do our best. How about that? She's she's just breaking barriers for teens to talk about sex when their parents don't want to or whatever. Speaking of Emma Stone, it could also be La La Land. That was also a great coming of age story that didn't shy away from sex with Emma Stone. But that's true. That was basically a porno, I think. Basically, yeah. I'm surprised it <laughs> yeah. got away with a yeah, not NC17 rating. It came out in theaters. <laughs> That was weird. <laughs> All right, give me the answer. What do we got? No way. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah, all right. 61. I would have got that if I was like 39. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't seen American Pie in a damn long time. And I'm sure it's one of those movies that has not held up very well. Oh, man. All right. And I don't think Emma wow. Stone's in that right. one. Shit. So we're one for two. That's fine. I like that we both guessed incorrectly uh, with separate movies. That's fun. Yeah, that's great. All right, next up. Imagine a movie. Oh, this got a poor review. Imagine a movie oh, led by one of TV's biggest psychopaths in history. Other than Fred from Fred the Movie. This is basically what this movie is. I was really looking forward to seeing what this movie could really be about, but ended up being possibly one of the most disappointing movies I've ever seen in my entire life. Don't watch this movie. Overall ranking, 2 out of 10. Whoa. That's Another tough. Toughie. Yeah. All right. What What is one of TV's biggest psychopaths? Oh, man. Christian Slater comes to mind. He's got a psychopath face. Mm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Those eyebrows. Those know. eyebrows are very villainous, but... Yeah, you're like... <sighs> Like, yeah, like that's right. Right, I, I could I could visualize that. The Fred the movie is throwing me off. I think that's just them trying to be funny. I right, don't think that has anything to do right. with it. Right, I don't think it's anything related to that. It's just them putting in their own humor. Okay, so it's a TV star, but it's a movie. Right. Hmm. So it's got to be like Brian Cranston or like Michael C. Hall. Oh, Michael C. Hall is a good one. I, I can't think of a Michael C. Hall movie. <laughs> no, nor can I. I'm like, I'm stuck at Dexter. I kind of went the other way with this first line. What if they're thinking of like Joffrey from Game of Thrones? Like who, like if they're talking oh, about yeah, the yeah, character yeah. was a psychopath. Once we nail this TV psychopath, we're golden. That's yeah. where I'm really struggling here. What if it's like um, Mads Mikkelsen? Um, he was in Hannibal. Yeah, okay. Right? And he does a ton of movies. Like maybe, is this like Crimes of Grindelwald? No, this is, this is, this review is from before that came out. No, it's not. Wait. Crimes of Grindelwald. No. Um, You're right. Secrets of Dumbledore. No, the Secrets of Dumbledore. That's the new one. That's the third one. The Crimes of Grindelwald was the second one. But he wasn't in that. That was John. Oh Depp. shit! They did that thing where they changed actor every time because of like. I, wow, Mandela effect is strong with me today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. Okay. No, you're right. You're right. So it can't be that. Not in February of 2021. Oh my god. We're gonna spend the rest of the fucking quiz on this question. Uh, yeah, just have your editors <laughs> cut to 30 minutes later. 30 minutes later. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with some James Gandolfini movie, but like. Oh, man. I'm going to go with Brian Cranston in Power Rangers. Ooh, that's a good one. All right, let's go for it. Let's cement our answers. Here we go. I didn't know he was in God damn. Oh, my God. We oh, even that's close. okay. Okay, hold on. We that's, were led astray with the we were biggest duped. psychopath. Layers of cleverness. Although I do see the Fred comparison now. Sure, I'll give them yeah. that. But like, yeah. that was tough, man. Also, never have I ever seen this movie. Have you seen this one? I've never seen anything Pee Wee Herman related other than like a headline about him doing something in a movie theater or a park or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There was that, mm -hmm. that fun little story. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but that like was Pee Wee's big adventure <laughs> in my books. Well, that's what he calls it. All right. We got to redeem ourselves. We're one for that three really here. Tough. Here's question four. Four stars. Funny enough, this may just be my favorite version of the Dickens classic. Each viewing just makes me enjoy it more and more. It's just such a fun, warm-spirited Christmas flick with some great songs and one of the all-time great performances of Scrooge. Okay, this is more my jam. Before I reveal my guess, do you have any thoughts? Straightforward, I'd say, what was it, A Christmas Carol with Jim Carrey? Oh, the Jim Carrey one. Is that what is that what that was called? I, I could be getting that wrong. I know what you're talking about, like the Zemeckis. It's like animated. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like creepy right. Polar Express style right. animation. So I am going a different route. I'm going to go with A Muppet's Christmas Carol uh, because they oh, specifically mention songs. And that movie is indeed a musical. You Oh, I missed the songs. You're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah. And guess what, Ryan? And it's too late to change your I, answer. <laughs> I stand by it. I maybe maybe this per maybe he hums in the movie and something. Oh yeah, like, yeah. There, there you go. He's, yeah, there's yeah, your yeah, musical. Yeah. I like that. I that like technically that. counts. All right, let's find out. Hey, let's go. Damn, yeah, let's you go. got it. You got it. Oh, I am. Damn, I'm shocked. This only has a 75% Rotten Tomato score. It should be 750. That's a classic. I agree. It is a classic. Yeah, that's disgusting. Yeah. They're the critics are wrong. This is a perfect movie. Rotten Tomato. Tomatoes. They don't know. They does often that, get it does wrong. That ever, yeah. Does that ever happen to you that like a classic movie from your childhood, you you go on Rotten Tomatoes and you're like, that got a 37. percent It happens like, to me all the time. Yeah. Back when we didn't look at reviews and we you just, just enjoyed a movie. You know what? This happened to me and my wife the other the other night. We had never or I had never seen Death Becomes Her. 
No, I've never seen that. I've, I've heard of that, but I haven't seen it. Like early 90s flick. It's Zemeckis, same guy who did uh, your Jim Carrey Christmas Carol movie. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I kind of loved the movie. And then I went to Rotten Tomatoes to see if, you know, my feelings were uh, vindicated. And no, not at all. It was like 50% or something. They thought it was rotten, oh. shallow movie, blah, blah, blah. And it kind of like broke my heart a little. It was like, no, I want to be right. Ever since then, and that was like, you know, four nights ago, I no longer trust Rotten Tomatoes because <laughs> I'm since. stubborn. Well, I'm glad you've changed. You know, you've evolved yeah, uh, since me. four days ago. I'm a new man, Ryan. I can tell. I knew something was different about you. Off topic. Um, do you have a favorite Christmas movie? Oh, I'm an elf man. Elf man. Gotcha. Not, gotcha. Not not Danny Elfman, uh, but <laughs> the movie Elf. That's weird because I'm I'm him. I'm the latter for sure. But you're you, you're an elf man, man. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's yours? Is it is it this that we're staring at right it's, now? For me, it's tough to beat this. And I I didn't grow up watching this. I never grew up a Muppets guy. I'm still not really a Muppets guy. But for some reason, Aaron introduced me to this movie several Christmases ago, and gosh darn it, I kind of love it. Um, I also like Scrooged. Scrooge is a good one. We're nearing the halfway point here with question five. It's got three and a half stars. I don't know why, but there's something mesmerizing about this movie. The character's motives and discourse choices are elusive and always just beyond the reach of comprehension. It's a bit different from most of the so bad it's good movies because it actually remains so watchable. I have one guess. Me too, but it might yeah. be an obvious one. Yeah, okay. Stay with me on the count of three. Three, two, one. The, the room. room. Okay. <laughs> Right, because the, the the so bad yeah. it's good was kind of a giveaway. I think this is the room. I think so because how would you be able to see what's gonna happen next when what happens next makes absolutely no sense Correct. logically, narratively, thematically? It's gotta be the room. It's the room. You know what? I'm just gonna go the for room. it. Let's let's pull. Let's rip the, the cord. Show me the room. Let's freaking go, go, baby. Go. Yes. Sip a white claw uh, for that see. one. <laughs> I uh by the way I, I lied to you uh I know you asked like yo you popping off claws I'm like hell yeah I can't because I have a gym appointment in three hours I don't want to drink before my gym class wow I'm so sorry it's fine I, I know mean, all right I'm a, I'm a bad friend yeah that's that's <laughs> that's quite the betrayal I should have like cracked one open because you can hear it you, and then, you, like just set it aside you could have cracked open like a Perrier and I wouldn't have known but uh, I appreciate the honesty no I, I would do it for real because I'm method I'm still gonna know? quit this call though uh <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> I, Ryan, we're at the halfway point. Beautiful. How are you feeling right now? Feeling fantastic. Delicious white claws. And I'm not doing well in the game, but that's fine. Yeah. Same. I'm a, I'm a little disappointed with my progress as well. I got stumped by a few humdingers and <laughs> went completely like in the wrong paths yeah. multiple times. I'm embarrassed, but I'm ready to make up for it. That was just a warm up, you know? So I feel yeah. like it's just yeah. going to get better from here. Now that I know what movies are, I can move forward. And viewers, let us know how you're doing in the comments below. Tell Tell us your scores at the end. Yeah, if you get 10 out of 10, I know you're lying. All right, here we go. Question six. I loved this movie. It balances cheesy nostalgia with mature character development and modern visuals. There's a lot to love here if you watched the show as a kid. It's basically Breakfast Club plus Transformers, and it's awesome for it. The show as a kid? Wait a minute. Is this... Dude, is this fucking Power Rangers? Holy crap, you might be right. Oh, how funny would that you be? You might be right. <laughs> I was gonna How say- How funny would that be? I was gonna say Bumblebee, but that's way too on the nose and it's just like one girl. Oh, it's got yeah. it's gotta be Power Rangers, right? It's gotta be. Because what else? Okay, Breakfast Club, it's like the outcasts, the rejects, you know, teaming up and, you know, befriending each other, learning all their quirks and whatevers. And then Transformers is like the last third or quarter of the movie. Yeah. Just that super memorable Megazord battle that we all love and quote and meme on every day. Every day. We're all still talking about Not the Power Rangers reboot movie of 21. What, 17? Not a day goes yeah. by that I don't talk about <laughs> Power Rangers 2017 starring Dacry Montgomery as Billy. <laughs> Shut up. All day. We have to admit, this is fucking Power Rangers, right? This it's got to be Power Rangers. I don't see what else it could be. Show me potato salad. Let's go. Yes. Let's go. Dacry Montgomery. Ooh, 51%. That did not do well. That did not do well at all. Yeah, that's that ain't great. You know what's funny? Like, but, uh, you, you see it's it's titled Saban's Power Rangers. <laughs> like, the I think that's the, the company that owns Power Rangers, like the toys or something. And they're very right. like, you got to put our name in the title it's, or else who's going to know? <laughs> you know? 
And like, thank God they did. Otherwise, like, I don't know what they'd be talking yeah, about. Yeah, you're in line at the theater and it's like, Power Rangers? Is that the official Saban one or is that... <laughs> I'm telling you, man, the score would have been jacked up if they rebranded it as Brian Cranston's Power yeah. Rangers. That's a huge misstep yeah. on Saban. If the title starts with Brian Cranston's, I will go see that movie. That sounds fantastic. But in seats. All righty, moving on. That's a W for the both of us. Question seven. Four stars. Great Adam Sandler film. Funny with the deeper message. One of his best. Oh, that's not fair. You can't just give us that. There's like 40 Adam Sandler movies that all have a heart of gold. With a deeper okay. message. Oh. I, I'm going to say that this is your counsel throwing a curveball. And I'm going to say this is some person who like understood a deeper message to Hubie Halloween. <laughs> that's a damn good guess, by the way. I think this is, yeah, they're trying to mess with us, I think. Fine, then I'm going to say Hotel Transylvania 3. <laughs> Um, Specifically, the that's third the one, one that really. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, that's of the course. One. one of his no, no, one no, of no. his best. That's what people say about Hotel Transylvania Three. Ah, oh, shit. I might just say Funny People, even though it's not quite necessarily an Adam Sandler movie. Yeah, could oh, be. Let's go. <laughs> Jack and Jill. <laughs> No, what's like? Oh, they got us good, that, man. That person saw like the Dunkachino scene and was like, yeah, "That's actually a pretty good message." You know, I think. I yeah, think it, it really tugged at the heartstrings. Yeah. Dunkachino. Dunkachino. <laughs> I haven't seen oh. the movie, but I've watched the Dunkachino clip a hundred times. What dirt did they have on Al Pacino? Yeah, it's gotta be black to make him do this movie. It's right. It's compromat. It's gotta be like. There's no way. Isn't that like the premise of the movie? It's it's called like Movie Forty Three or something like that, where it has like this insane all star yeah. cast. But it's, and like everyone's in it, but it, it's a terrible, horrible movie. And I think it's just because like all these actors like owed favors to the director yeah. or something. Yeah, something like that. I've never seen it, but it's just a string of awful sketches apparently. And, and right. with a uh, insane all-star cast. And I think it's all blackmail. Anyways, long story short, go see Jack and Jill today if you can. Today. Dear viewers. I think it's still um, in theaters if I'm not mistaken. It's, <laughs> it's had a good run. You're right. I think that's right. one of those ones that never left. Nor should it. All right, question eight. Five stars, just fantastic. The animations, modeling effects, sound design, and so many great songs. True masterpiece. I feel sorry for anyone with young girls that have to watch it 20 times a day, though. I mean, that's got to be like Frozen, right? Or Frozen 2? So... I was thinking Frozen. It's probably but... Frozen. Do we give ourselves half points if it's Frozen 2? I think we should, because it's so specific. Because how would we How would we know? But here, okay, now hold the phone. Hold here's it. Where, here's where you and I disagree, right? Okay. I think Frozen's the obvious answer here. Oh, it's a curveball. Okay. I'm thinking it's more like a fucking Barbie movie or something. The way that they said modeling effects... Like, uh, who who has ever watched Frozen and walked away with, that movie had great modeling effects. I've never seen a single fucking person say that after really any Disney movie. Counterpoint. Young girls have to watch it. Counterpoint. I think yeah. someone leaving a movie review trying to sound like they know movies would throw in a word that they think makes sense. How sometimes people are like, some of the cinematography tilts were... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> incredible you know and you're like oh yeah that sounds That's right fair. that sounds correct right and publish it <laughs> Shit, you're right. You're, this is someone trying to sound smart, knowing that they know cinema. Yeah, they took. So they say shit like modeling effects. Yeah, they took one film class, and now they're like, <laughs> yeah, some of the modeling effects and sound design were were great. Like, you didn't notice the <laughs> sound design. Come on. I th I think Frozen is the right answer. I just wanted to spice it up and say it's Barbie. <laughs> I think you should say that absolutely. Bar I think you should absolutely say straight to video Barbie. Which one? Let's uh, go. Let's Barbie do finds a horse, or like what? Are, I don't know what the titles of those ones. No. Ryan, Barbie the, the movie. One where she, the one where she rents an apartment. Oh, okay. All right, this quiz is making me dumber by the second. <laughs> Let's find out if it's Frozen or Barbie. It's fucking Frozen, right? Yeah, of course. Of course, it's of course. Of course, it's Frozen. Yeah. <laughs> you know, ballsy answer on your part. That's very. It was. I knew I was wrong, but it was. I was like, screw it. Let's play hardball. You spiced it up. Did you see Frozen two? I did see Frozen two. Yeah. Did you? No. How'd you like it? Did you like it? I would describe it as unmemorable because I don't. I have no idea mm. what happened. I couldn't describe we... the plot to you other than no. I can't say. I, I have nothing. <laughs> you got nothing. I have nothing to share about it. <laughs> I think we got three minutes into it. Like we just put it 
on TV while we were like cleaning the bedroom or something one afternoon. And the three minutes in, and then Aaron says like, I'm kind of over. <laughs> Didn't even make it to the first song. So uh, to this day, I have no idea what happens in Frozen 2. There's no way to know. Speaking of knowing things, here's the ninth question of this cursed mm. movie review quiz. Are you ready? Good segue, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> it wasn't sloppy at all. Five yeah. stars. Um, If anyone gave this less than five stars, then they didn't find their sexual awakening in an animated ghost. Okay. I think I got it. I, th I think I got it too. Right? Do you want to say it on three again? I ac absolutely do. Why don't you count us off? Okay. Three, two, one. Casper. Casper. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Right? Because like, yeah. Because yeah. it was Devin Sawa, right? He was the, like he turned into Devin Sawa, who was like a heartthrob in the 90s. But it's got to be Casper. How many Animated other, ghost? How many other animated ghosts even are there? Are they talking about Slimer from right. Ghostbusters? And this is just like a really freaky person? That would be funny. That'd be the curveball to end all curveballs. But it's got to be Casper. I'm going to click it. Let's go. What do we got? Of course. Yep. Obviously. Sexual Awakening. Um, and what That's a, a great line. movie, by the way. I love that movie. Oh, I put that on repeat so many damn times yeah. as a kid. I, That's one of my favorites. I like wore out the VHS that we had of it. Like, oh my yeah. God. 51% on Rotten Tomatoes. See, that's like what? More proof that it's wrong. And you should never trust it's the wrong. Rotten Tomato meter. meter. Never. I'm disgusted with that inaccurate score. And it's time to move on to our final question of the movie oh, review God. quiz. Let us go. Final, final round. round. One and a half oh stars. God. King of King, evil Lord, evil angels are King King, Lord King. Oh my God. What in the hell? Okay. King King, Lord King. I think we're both like super deep in thought because yeah. What riddle is this? They're really emphasizing King and Lord King. Is it a Lord of the Rings movie? I'm thinking it's Return of the King. Yeah, and they thought Kate Blanchett was an angel or something. Talk about ghosts. I don't know if these ghosts awakened any sexual whatevers in people, but there are like, there's an army of ghosts in this movie, in the third Lord of the Rings movie. I also like that this person didn't like it. <laughs> One and a half stars. King of King, Evil Lord, Evil Angels, or King King, Lord King. Not for me. It's like, no. it's a caveman just screaming. Uh, hey, I get it. It's a lengthy movie. It's a, you know, it's a thinker. What, three and a half hours, something like that. Um, I'm going to say Lord of the Rings Return of the King. I got to say something different, I think, just just to... Oh, just to mix it up? I appreciate that. Yeah, just to mix it up. King, yeah, yeah, yeah. King, evil, Lord, evil angels are King, King, Lord, King. That's a lot of kings, though. There's a, there's definitely a king in this movie. You could say that. I don't know, like Clash of the Titans? I haven't seen that one, so, you know, you could probably justify that more so than I I haven't either. seen it either. I oh, haven't shit. seen it. <laughs> Clash of the Titans or, like, Thor, Love, and Thunder. I'm going to say Clash of the Titans, though. Okay. For one million points... Oh, no. Yes. Let's see oh, who no. gets it. Hey. Ah. Da -da 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 -da. Look at that. And that, this is the correct yeah. percentage right there. They finally did it right. And the, this is one where the audience gets it wrong. I'm sorry. There are 14% of people that just don't have brains. Well, that's people uh, who leave one and a half star and say, King, King, Lord, Evil Angels, King, Lord, King. Right. You know, like, what do you, that's, <laughs> can you back that up or? I'm just picturing them slamming their fists against the computer desk. <laughs> I love to see like like an actual review and that's the headline on the article. <laughs> like Lord of the Rings, Return Roger of the King. Ebert. King King Lord, King 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 Lord, Evil Angels, King King. <laughs> people are like, oh shit, I, I, man, I guess we shouldn't go see it. Right. right, right. I'm out. That doesn't sound good. Well, here are our scores, dear viewers. Here's how we did against each other. Let us know how you did here in the movie review quiz. I want to thank you, Ryan George, for uh, taking your time to join us here in this quiz today. And uh, before you go, I just want to ask, where can the good people find you? And uh, what are you working on these days? Oh, man, they can find me on YouTube if they enter my name, Ryan George, or if they enter just the words pitch meeting, they can find me. The things that I'm working on right now are Ryan George and pitch meetings. So I love it. There you go. Big fan of both. Oh, thank um, you. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having and, me. That was uh, fun. I'm, and I'm, I've definitely lost. I've lost track. Mm. I don't know who walked away the victor of this one. Okay. Uh, but I think we all walked away losers here today. This was a negative experience. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't like this. <laughs>